here I go again, crafting on my own some lonesome. Except now you're here. But who am I? I am Earthman Brick. Welcome, intruder. I'm back with another Orky 40k build, because orcs are all I ever make, apparently. I had originally planned to make another Orky Chompa, a tinbot substitute for the Squig Hog Rider model, using discarded Kinder Egg toys. However, it was too big to be a regular Orc Chompa, so I looked up Wahapedia to see if there was a larger variant. And indeed, there was the Beast Boss on Squigasaur. Jackpot! Onto the craft, armed with info on the base size and the loadouts. Starting with the stand for the model, I used a typical industrial aesthetic I've used previously, then attached hex nuts to act as foot sockets for the legs, instead of drilling and pinning wire. Worked a treat and made the assembly process easier and faster. Next up, I made the feet using cable ties and shards, same way I did with Gasgull Thracker. The main body was covered with offcuts and scraps left over from other mounts I had made. I may have glued myself to the build on, on a few more, more occasions, but if you're not prying your fingers off your project, then you're probably a better crafter than me. I took to making a suitably sized jaw. Crafted from card and decorated with precast rivets. Last element to include was a friction port to switch in and out the Thumper weapon, which is a grenade launcher made from an old hand soap pump dispenser. The alternate swap out was a set of smokestacks and a banner, which had zero gaming value, but they looked nice. For the painting, I did a base coat of brown oil paint, then stippled on white house paint and finishing with orange highlights, adding some blue afterwards to create a more interesting composition. Then the finishing touch was to add some wires. Wires, cables, they're a great way to add colour whilst also plugging up gaps in your build. Well, that's it. An unplanned project to add to my tin bot army. And if you like green skin builds, then next month all my videos will be scrappy ones, since it's the holy month of October. Blessings unto Gork and Mork. But I've probably given you enough abuse for one day, so it's high time I make like a tree and get the fluff out of here. So good riddance unto thee, and a farewell from me. Mm -hmm. Bye.